Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 4 of Europa Universalis 4 as Malwa. Now I am supposed to be going to war against Mawar over here, but the more I think about it, the more it seems like a bad idea. I'm not really making an awful lot of money, and if I lose a battle, heck, even if I win a battle, I'm going to take losses. And it's not going to be easy for me to reinforce, and if I get stat wiped, I'm kind of screwed. So what I'm thinking about doing is retreating my troops. In fact, it is what I'm going to do. I'm going to retreat my troops to the capital. I'm going to put the army maintenance down. We need to try and make some money here. Um, because quite simply at the moment, we are not. I'm feeling very poor. So what I need to try and do is find some um, easier targets for this war. Or for any war. Find some easier targets. Let's mothball all the forts. Um, find some easier targets. And hopefully... I don't want to be drilling because that will put me on full maintenance. Uh, a couple of things that I haven't done actually. And I hate that the game doesn't remind you of this. Is I haven't embargoed anybody. Um... We should definitely be embargoing our rivals, who I've already forgotten. Uh, Bermanis and Vijaynagar. What I would like to do ultimately is wait for Bermanis and Vijaynagar to be in a battle with each other. And hopefully I can then jump in and try and grab something from one of them. That would be really nice. So we need a, we need a free diplomat to issue embargo. There we go. So embargoes against all of our rivals does help with our power projection. I am going to go and send an insult against Mawar. If they want to attack me, that's fine, because then they have to actually fight my allies as well. Whereas if I attack them, they don't, which is part of the problem. Um, so we can send an insult. Now, there's this new thing here, this scornful insult. Uh, we can send an insult that will degrade our relations by 50% and give them a CB on us. Gives us 5 power projection. A scornful insult will double the loss of opinion, but also make their en their enemies like us more and cost us five prestige. Well, I don't really have the prestige, so I think we'll just go with a normal insult there. That's got our power projection up to 41, which is not bad. Now, what I would like to be able to do is actually spend some admin points and get my... Um, stability up once more if possible because i think having positive stability would help us with our cash issues but we're also going to start falling behind in tech which i don't want to happen it'd be nice to get an idea group that would allow us to potentially make some more money that way or get a stronger army so in the meantime let's go and have a look and see if there's anyone else that we could potentially get a quick and easy war against. So you're allied with Jarkhand and Samur. Uh, Jarkhand are quite small. Samur are... Where exactly? Not familiar with your name, so I have no idea where you are. Uh, let's just have a quick look at you again then. Um, Samur. Oh, no. You. Where are you? You are... Oh, you're all the way up there. You're quite small. That is potentially a province we could grab. It's like a little one on its own. Sure, let's go ahead and start... Um, I'm guessing we don't have a CB there. We do not. Um, okay, in that case then, let's go and start to... Um, what am I looking for... Relations, Dynastic, Covert, Build Spy Network. There we go. So we're going to do that. Is there anywhere else we could do? You guys are allied with Bermanis, which is not good. It's always worth checking, though, when their allies won't come in to help. Because if you have an opportunity to jump on someone without their allies helping you, that's all good. So now, you don't have any allies at all. Which could be useful. You could be a good target, actually. Um, so let's definitely go ahead and be, um, so they are quite big. It's a lot of land to take, but it could be useful. No, let's do it. Let's go and start building a spy network on them. Meantime, we'll build up some cash. 
Still not really sure if there's any better way that we could try and make money. We quite simply don't have any. At least if we start a war, we can raise war taxes, which is not a bad thing. Um, we're not getting an awful lot of money from our vassals, which is to be expected. Um, but Marni this is the other problem I've got as well, is if I do declare a war on somebody, there's every possibility that they may well... Uh, that somebody else may well jump in on top of me. So if I'm fighting a war up here, it's quite possible that Bermanis will jump in. So we do, we do have to be a little bit careful with what we do. We can invite a scholar. Is this scholar going to give me any money? Gives us an extra merchant. I don't think having the extra merchant will help. Now, it won't be too long before we actually can get the tax modifier. Can we do any sort of um, edict? Local manpower, local trade. See, all of these cost us money. There isn't really any that would, um, there isn't really any that would make us money, and I don't even think we can get anything from the estates either. Uh, the Jains, the um, the Brahmins give us national tax modifier. Give them more loyalty. Um. Lose prestige and legitimacy would give them more influence and more uh, loyalty. I'm not sure that that would help. So I think we'll leave that for the time being. We'll just try sort of... We're actually getting these... Um, these spies are working quite quickly here. Now you've just... Ah, you see, Romanis has just declared war on these guys. These are the guys that I wanted to declare war on as well. Which is a little bit problematic. Because Bermanis is obviously definitely going to win that battle there. Let's go ahead and move our guys over in that direction. Because I could literally, if I'm quick enough, go and siege a lot of the stuff before they get around to it. But I don't think it'll happen. Uh, I'm going to take the money there. Yeah, they're just going and sieging the capital. So, yeah, the chances of me actually getting that quick enough are unlikely. That's a shame. Uh, it won't be too long before we can reform our government. Is there anything that we could get that would potentially give us more money? Because I'm not too bothered about this tolerance of heathens, although the taxability is nice when we're using it. Uh, extra merchants, um, unjustified demands is nice, income from vassals, not all that great, army tradition. Yeah, okay, we kind of keep it as it is. Lose some money and gain some devastation. Oh well, easy come, easy go. Yeah, they're going to start taking all this quite quickly, which is very, very unfortunate here. I really wanted to grab that. That would have been some nice provinces there. They may not take the whole thing, but if they take both of these, it kind of cuts me off from them. So, if I can get the CB quick enough, it might help, but I, I doubt that it's going to work. I guess we'll just have to see what they take if they take the whole thing. Um, that does potentially give us opportunities elsewhere, although all my diplomats are kind of busy right now. Um... You are sucking up to you, so we can eventually integrate you. Move towards legalism and gain admin power. Yeah, let's keep moving towards legalism. Although, I think we are max legalism anyway. We're making one and a half ducats per month, which is kind of crappy. Yeah, so they're sieging out the capital. Um, that other little army is just going to go around and grab everything else. They've got no allies, so they'll soon hit 100%. We will take it eventually. You know, we, we will be going to war with Bermanis. We will be taking stuff from them. But I am just I'm far too weak at the moment to be able to do that. Uh, especially without an ally to come in and help me. So we'll, we'll see what we can get. I've also got to be careful if I do make a claim on one of these provinces. Because if I make a claim on one of the provinces and that province then becomes Bermanis' province. Then I won't have a claim on what's left of Patna. So I should really wait... Until this war is over, which is basically going to be however long it takes for the uh, for the fort to fall, or for the capital to fall, 
Uh, there's a 7% chance. Um, so that's literally the only province they have left to, to grab at this point. 21% chance for that to happen now. Uh, what I am going to do, I am going to put up my army maintenance. Uh, we're still making money, actually. I'm going to put my army up over here and get ready to do this war. And the reason I want to get ready to do that war is because Bamanis are busy with somebody else. So it's the best time to do it, really. So we're going to move in here. We're not going to do get the thing just yet. And that will give us then control of all of the provinces within that uh, within that state, which is worth doing. Um, we'll, we'll get one more tick. We'll get one more tick just to be safe. We'll let it go into um, into May while they finish up down there. We'll see what happens. That'll put us. That'll give us a better. Um, there we go. So we can. Oh, we need to bring back the. No, we don't. Um, do stuff in the right order. Right. Let's get a claim. Let's bring back the diplomat. Let's declare war. Their allies will come in, but we don't really care. So we're just going to march straight in. They shouldn't be able to get away. Their fort shouldn't have time to reinforce. Yeah, as I expected, Bermanus has taken and just left these two provinces here. Um, which is problematic for me because I can't, I can no longer reach them. So, might as well bring that guy back. Ah, oh, such a shame. Oh, well, we'll have to see if there's anything else we can grab. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of neighbours, so we really need Jean Poor to be willing to come and help us out with a few things if we want to get anywhere. Um, let's detach a siege from this. Now, I'm aware that we don't have enough men there, but I wanted to leave the siege leader. It's always weird when you detach a siege that it doesn't leave the leader behind. Uh, you are the guy with siege. Um, let's take two infantry from this and send you back. We can invest in a technology. Now, I know we are going to have to call this province, but I also want to get the tech as well. This gives us an idea group. So the question is, do we take something military like I usually do, or do we try and get our money sorted? Economy ideas might be nice. An extra tax modifier. Inflation reduction. It, reduced interest per annum might be nice, because I think we're going to be taking some loans. I think we're going to have to go economic ideas. I usually like to go for some sort of military idea first off, but I think getting money is going to be a real problem. So, we will go ahead and do this. Now, um, Jarkand obviously did get involved. So did Samur. We might not need to fight them. Um, Samur is... Where is Samur, actually? I did see them, didn't I? They're close by. But I don't think they're going to be too much of a problem. Let's go ahead and get the Diplotech as well. So, we are 555 across the board. Simur, where were you? Oh, it's Jarkand. Jarkand is here. Oh, my allies are actually sieging out Jarkand. I hadn't realised that. I've, I've forgotten that they were they were so close. Um, Jampour is dealing with some rebels. I'm not going to be giving military access to people because that just makes it easy for them to get through my territories. I've also... Right, two things I've just realised here that I forgot to enact. One, my forts have gone up. Don't need that. Um, don't automatically raise fort maintenance. And secondly... Um, we haven't gone for a military idea, so let's raise war taxes. Save us a bit of money. Yeah, so if you guys if you guys get Jarkin sieged out, that'll make that nice and easy for me. Um, who is that? Uh, Kalandi is now sieging out is what's left of Patna. So yeah, I definitely missed the boat on that one. 
So I, I am going to have to go over here and fight Mawar. The problem I've got with Mawar is that they are in another war, though. Which could potentially be useful. Um, our air is now greedy, which is reducing our national... Oh, that's our air. Okay. So it sh shouldn't be affecting us too much now. Right, you are here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we've lost a leader. Did we not have two leaders? One of them must have died. We can have three. Um, let's have a quick look at our air for a moment. So our air is only 15. He's a 145. He's not great, but he's greedy. Can we put the air in charge of this? Apparently we can. And let's go over there and fight you. Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a reinforcement stack coming in. I may wish to wait. But if he gets that, I'm going to have to fight a fort. Um, let's leave a small number of units behind here. And let's select the rest and, and move in together. Yeah, he's actually moving out now. So let's go ahead and turn on that fort. Oh. I didn't mean to get locked there as I just did. That was bad. Hopefully I can get there in time to reinforce because I wasn't watching what I was doing. Yeah, I did get there in time. Excellent. My allies are coming to help, which is also good. Great. Okay, so I want the stack that doesn't have the leader. Actually, both stacks have the leader. Guess it doesn't matter which stack goes where. Let's send you over. Actually, it'd be the six because there was there was nine there, weren't there? It's the uh, it's the guy with the siege pips that we want. Uh, Jarkand want peace. Now they do border me, so we could take these provinces. Don't have enough war score yet. But we could have soon. So let's let's wait on this one. I'm not gonna get these provinces here that I wanted. And in fact, these guys are no longer at war, or are they? Um yeah, they are at war. But I might be able to dive in there and grab something. Depends if these guys actually take it or not. So we'll see what happens. Jokand are about to lose even more of their army up there. We've won this siege. Okay. So, Jokand, are you willing to give me all of this? No, you're not. Um, why not? Would result in their annexation or vassalization. We're only six. We're only six off. Could we make them a vassal? Is it worth making them a vassal? I mean, it could be. Or I could just take their land. What's the development? One, well, three, four, and five. Not particularly great. Uh, how many relationships do I have? Um, always, I always lose where this is. Uh, that's because I'm looking at them. Look at my own country. Four of four. So, yeah, I'd probably be better off just taking it for myself. Move towards mysticism. We would get some extra... Ta well, either way, we'll get tax income. And we'll lose autonomy change. Uh, what are we at at the moment? We are max... Um, max legalism. Which we should probably stay at for the for the money. Uh, we don't want the unrest. I don't really want to lose the prestige either. Unrest for... And the Amrys lose loyalty. We'll just take the prestige hit. So let's see if we can get these guys to actually give us all their land. Then we'll take this. If at all possible. 
Yep, they've got one province left, so we could go ahead and get a quick quick and dirty claim on that. And then we could go after Kalahandi. It's going to be a bit of border gore. That I appreciate. But this might... Well, we can't get a claim there yet because we don't neighbour them. So that's all the more reason to take this stuff here. Right, are you yet willing? I want all of this stuff. Oh no, I don't, I don't want to make you a, a vassal. I just want to take all of your land. Yeah, they're still saying no. Negative three reasons. Length of war will, will go away though. So just have to wait a little. Um, I don't think I have to deal with the other guys. That shouldn't be a problem. And negative prestige now, which is a complete pain. Uh, also, we can make states. Which is probably not worth it while we only control... Well, we're going to control two bits of it. Um, but it probably won't be worthwhile yet. It will eventually, but not yet. Mawar has announced Malra as a rival. I thought we already were. Well, they are rivals. Um, we don't need to have that on anymore. So let's go ahead and turn that off and we can save ourselves a little bit of money there. Are you guys willing to peace out yet? Yes, you are. Also, how much money do you have? I'm not even bothered about the inflation. You have 30 ducats. I'll take it. So, we've now got some land. Uh, we do indeed lack cores. So, what we can do now is we can... Can we get a claim on this straight away? We cannot. We don't have high enough... Um, spy network because that burnt down so let's go ahead and do that and then we can go ahead and sue for peace over here taking your one and only province you're not willing to do that is that because your your buddies and allies are still alive who are currently being sieged out by my ally uh, anyway so uh, do you guys want to get out of this war on a white piece you'd even be willing to give me money you don't have much money. Fine, let's just white piece you out. And now we've got a 100% war score against these guys. Which means you have no choice but to give me all of your not money. And uh, there we go. Okay, so first things first. Do we want to keep that fort? I'm tempted to say yes, but it might cost me a fortune. I'm definitely going to turn it off. We're definitely going to start coring that. Let's go ahead and put these guys together. We've still got decent manpower. We're still making money. We're going to grab a claim on this as soon as we have enough spy network to get it. And we'll grab that. And then that gives us some options. We can get down here into Garjat. We can get down here into Kalahandi. Then we can possibly get down here into Parla Kamindi. So, yeah. Any, anything where we can start chomping away on these small guys is, is going to be good. Uh, we do have a rev rebel uprising, potentially. Um, which is likely to fire somewhere around here. We'll keep our eye on it. I'll keep the maintenance up just for the time being. We can act to reform on our government, so we've got some other options here. <clears throat> national manpower modifier plus 15%. Or national tax modifier plus 10%. Well, it's got to be tax. Definitely needing the money there. Now, also, when is it that I can take this next option? The 11th of November, 64. So, a couple of, couple of years we'll be able to do that. Anyway, it's probably a good point to end the video. We've won a war, so I'll take that as a successful episode. And then when we come back next time, we will see if we can start taking some more land. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.